get in loser we're going shopping <laughs> and by that i mean we're going grocery shopping so today i want to share with y'all some of my favorite items products and just stuff i like to buy and eat from my french supermarket in my day-to-day -day life in paris so subscribe for more lifestyle art culture that sort of content from la princesse des beaux-arts moi Okay, so one week before I filmed this, I went to the UK and let me just tell you, I had a meltdown at 10 p.m. in an aisle of Sainsbury's in London because I had a moment of gratitude, let me just tell you, for my French supermarket, which is freaking amazing. And this is my favorite. This is like Grande Pisserie, which is hands down the best grocery store I've ever been to. And it's like, it reminds me of Central Market in Houston, where basically La Grande Épicerie is what Sephora is to makeup, this place is to food. They basically have all the best items from around France and Europe and the world in one place. And you'll find some crazy stuff here and let me just show you around. So this area has a lot of chocolates and jams, honeys, teas, all the non-perishables. This is Chapon, which has lots of nice packaging. And this is Confiture Parisienne. It's a small artisanal brand of jams and jellies preserves in Le Marais of Paris, where they cook everything in these small copper kettles. They used to be really, really good. And this is the Puy d'Amour, inspired by a recipe for Marie Antoinette. It used to be my favorite jam ever, but I think they changed the recipe, so now it tastes like freaking ketchup. And that like broke my heart, but it's okay because we always have Tip Tree in Essex, England. My favorite jam in the whole world is Tip Tree's Little Scarlet Jam um, from Wilkins and & Sons. And this is actually the jam James Bond eats and what the queen, Queen Elizabeth, rest in peace, love her, used to eat when she ran out of strawberry jam from her own garden. And this super cute jam here is Christine Ferber from Alsace, so the northeast region of France, really close to Germany. She is super well loved by the Elysee, so eaten in the presidential palace and loved by Japanese tourists. And Angelina is kind of like an overhyped brand, but but they have a really good dark chocolate spread and it's really expensive. So if you want to substitute that, I really like the Lint dark cocoa spread, the co cacao intense, intense. Wow, I had a Montreal accent there switching from English to French. Anyways, these are the Galettes de Pont Avant, which I really like. Joël Seria made a film from that name. And um, these are the Gaufrettes Amusante from Eugène Bond. So all of these are super old school, old school French, okay? They're these little flavored wafers with cute expressions, idioms, and jokes printed, stamped on them. And they are so fun to eat, okay? Definitely a nice little special treat. So this entire circular cylindrical stand has cakes and nonettes that you're seeing over here. These little round cakes are some of my favorite cakes ever, like French cakes. And they're called nonettes because nuns used to sell them centuries ago to hungry travelers in the south of France. And they're basically a gingerbread cake with a fruit, caramel, or chocolate filling. And a sugary place. Now I want to show you something really amazing which is the water section. They have the best waters here. Girl, are you thirsty? Because <laughs> brace yourselves. There is an incredible section of waters from around the world. Bougie ass water, okay? This is my favorite. It's Aquapana from Italy and I think it's sourced near the Villa Medici's but the flavor is perfect and here normally you find Chateau Don but it's sold out and oh my god let me I'm not gatekeeping this Chateau Don is the best sparkling water in the world it's lightly sparkling perfect taste and um, the Sun King in Versailles used to have it um, carried to his palace in chariots okay so here is my favorite soda in the entire world Canato made from bitter oranges in Sicily so freaking good, okay? And obviously we're in France, so we need to, 
look at the mustards i personally love mustard don't know how you feel about this but i love them in these little clay pots we have my mustard obviously but you also have pommery and then you have all types of moutarde de dijon and this is the seafood section which you can find my favorite section here with the little blinis and I love blinis okay I'm not a big carb eater I don't really like rice or pasta oh, I'm so special yeah whatever no I just really like blinis and they're kind of like mini crumpets and you can put anything you want on them and it's automatically cute and dainty and sort of elegant okay the thing is you really have to like toast blinis a little bit to get the right texture or else they're just hard and tasteless and a bit sour so i'm having a friend over for afternoon tea and i wanted to make it a sort of a special occasion so i got some really nice smoked salmon or what is it gavlax and I'm going to sort of put them on the blinis with some creme fraiche. And <laughs> we're in France, baby. So this is the butter section. And oh my God, I went to Harrods in London and the butter section looked like a freaking joke to me, okay? So here is my favorite butter, the uh, beurre d'isigny, but there are also some other good ones. There's also the creme d'isigny, the creme fraiche. And what I love about Isigny Dairy is that you have that caramelly, aromatic flavor. And this is the cheese, cheese section. What's special here is that you can actually ask them to um, vacuum wrap your butter and cheese for you so you can freeze it before you go traveling. And this section has foie gras and cured fish and all of that good stuff. And on the left is the butcher shop. They have really good meats, okay? This is the prepared section, and then those are the carcasses, which are kind of insane looking. And they also have super a super nice produce section with like some wild strawberries and crazy stuff like that. So this is what I got for that day. And uh, I don't eat a lot, but I do eat a lot of nice stuff and that satisfies me so i went home this is my kitchen with my cute little pumpkin stove pot and i'm preparing this tower of toasted blinis with a bunch of different toppings i like to find really nice combinations so for example soft apricots with conte cheese or uh, salmon with sour cream and all of that and mustard <laughs> That's my quaint little apartment. Anyways, don't mind me using my fancy chess set as a dining table. <laughs> and I made a homemade iced tea. This is my friend, Anna. She's an artist and you can check out her works on Instagram if you want. And this here is a toasted blini with some creme fraiche and blackcurrant and blueberry compote, not compote, jam, confiture. It was really good anyways. So next I'm taking you to Carrefour, which is the more typical uh, French supermarket. It's not as bougie as La Grande Epicerie, but they have nice stuff, including octopus tentacles. I freaking love octopi. I don't care if you tell me they're intelligent or whatever. They taste good and that's basically all that matters to me. And next I like this uh, smoked trout from Belle Reflet de France um, because they're never frozen so that flavor and texture is super nice and I got some wild Atlantic salmon and I love duck okay I love duck so much I don't get why people would eat chicken if they can regularly find duck the flavor is just so much better and I love making a five spice blood orange canard à l'orange duck à l'orange and quail eggs are always nice and cute to eat you know but they're a bit high maintenance what can you say Okay, so this is the seafood section, and I really do like fish eggs, okay? I love Tobiko, which is flying fish row, and I love how crunchy and salty and savory it is. It's um, very common in sushi, and here we have the jams, so I had to get a bit of maple syrup. I am actually Canadian. I grew up in Montreal, if you don't know, and I love anything maple. And I like to put, put it on pancakes. I sort of cycle my carbs. I don't really eat lots of bread, rice, 
pasta noodles. So I like to eat like crumpets, um, brioche, pancakes, and I was in a pancake phase. And these are tiel setoise, which are these little fish pies with tomato sauce, and they're so freaking good. Um, here you have soft apricots, which I really like as well. They're perfect paired with the medium hard cheese like Comté. And I really, really love crunchy green grapes and crunchy fruits. It's um, nectarine and peach season, but I still had to get some crunchy green grapes. And it's not like it's straight up Haribo, so it's a win for me. <laughs> this is Carrefour. We're in Carrefour right now, which is another uh, French grocery store similar to Monoprix. And look, they even have tip tree jam. They have tip tree marmalade. How can Monoprix have tip tree marmalade when Waitrose doesn't even carry it? Like I was in Waitrose in London and, I, and there I am thinking, how do you not even have the best jam in your own country, but a random French supermarket has it? Like what? The French grocery store is just amazing. And this is the section with cured meats and cheese. And it just all looks so nice, so nice. And a random veal escalope here. Yeah, I actually quite like to um, eat fried veal liver, like very rare, very on very rare occasions. I do like a breaded veal liver. You can check out the Cipriani recipe on YouTube with some caramelized onions. Yeah, surprise. And here I love my fresh juices, but I decided to get some kombucha because your girl used to be chugging Dr. Pepper and lip tonic. Anyways, that's a wrap for today. Thanks for watching. You can find me on Instagram under La Princesse des Beaux Arts and look at my artworks and dresses for sale on my website. Subscribe to see more of my life in Paris and uh, thank you so much. See you soon, okay? Bye bye. Au revoir. Ciao. Mwah.